So I'm sure all of you guys know by my last video that I've graduated and to celebrate that big milestone of your life, some college graduates usually receive some sort of congratulatory gift, usually from their parents, right? Generously enough, my parents offered to take me out on an all-expense trip to London because, because of all the hard work that I put in the past four years. And I said no. <laughs> What is probably what you're thinking and I can respect that because honestly, I, I think I was crazy to say that too. <laughs> Instead, I asked my parents, specifically my dad, to buy me Final Cut Pro which is an editing program for the Mac, for Apple. I remember my dad came up to me and asked, Oi, Nicole, will this Final Cut Pro help you with your boards exam? Yes. Okay, so why in the heck did I pass up an opportunity to go to London for a measly editing program? First, let me take you on a small journey on how I got into this hobby. my first ever computer that my parents bought me when I was, I don't know, probably 10 or 11. It doesn't work anymore, but... So this is my parents' camera. They bought this probably that same year that they bought this computer. But they never use it, so I started using it and whenever my friends would come over, me and my friends would record our crazy antics and take pictures. And so I have mountains of old footage from 13 or some years ago of all the crazy stuff that me and my friends did back in middle school. Back in the day, I used to vlog like this. No joke. And it still works. Hmm. But I'll save that for another video. <laughs> okay, so every Windows computer has a free editing software, and that's called Windows Movie Maker. And that's what started the fire. I did not know how to import my videos onto the computer because, look, tape, computer. I don't know, I, I didn't know computers back then. However, I was able to import some of my pictures into the computer. And so I used Windows Movie Maker to create this sort of slideshow, picture slideshow with overlaying music. Okay, so some t context. Uh, this was my trip to the Philippines back in 2005. Yeah, okay, enjoy. <laughs> That was uh, my MySpace profile picture. <laughs> that was another MySpace profile picture. Yeah. Hey, dang, I was still checking up the deuces. <laughs> okay, that's enough. I don't want to see anymore. <laughs> okay, well that sucked out. Low effort, no work was put into it whatsoever but it took up so much time out of my day and i honestly enjoyed it but also it kept crashing and crashing and crashing so when i was in the eighth grade i went to best buy and i bought this new editing program it was forty dollars and it was called pinnacle studio it was called pinnacle studio and it was slightly just slightly more advanced than windows movie maker but the most important thing was it had this adapter thing that allowed me to transfer my videos onto onto a computer enabling me to edit also youtube just came out and it was a new website back then so people would just really would just upload videos for the fun of it. People like me, actually. And that's when yours truly began her YouTube journey. But that's a story for another time. It's still in progress. A Before I show this video, I want to tell you that this is not my video. 
shout out to April, hey. But this was around the same time frame when I was getting into YouTube. A lot of these clips of <laughs> of me that you'll see <laughs> that you'll see are actually my clips that I've recorded on this thing. But I left I let my friend have have those because it was for her project. <laughs> Where are my food <laughs> Oh, Jesus Lord. Back in high school, back in freshman year, I was a straight-up poser. <laughs> oh, God. My acting skills were superb back then. <laughs> So when I was in high school and college, I began to use Sony Vegas. And actually, the first two vlogs on this channel were edited using Sony Vegas. But my computer, which is right over here, it was on its last leg. And oh my god. Although this was a super loyal computer, never let me down when I needed it. Sony Vegas just kept crashing and crashing. I remembered I stayed up the whole night on New Year's Eve editing this video. When I was saving it, it would go up to 80%. Then it would crash and I would have to do, redo the whole thing all over again. And getting up to 80% took me like an hour or two. Oh god! So that was my cue to now move on to iMovie. And it's sufficient. It got its job done. And most of my vlogs on this channel were actually made using iMovie. So I have a lot of history with iMovie, you know? It's like a first love kind of Then I met Final Cut Pro. I actually tried Final Cut Pro last year because my school had it installed on their computers. I mean, I should have taken advantage of it, but whatever. So some of you have probably have seen it, but this was actually the first video that I've ever edited on Final Cut Pro. When it's your birthday, but you're broke AF. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, but I partly made that just to impress someone. <laughs> So that brings me back to why did I pass up an opportunity to go to London for a measly editing program? Okay, so Final Cut Pro will actually help me create the ideas that I've been boiling in my mind. Ideas that I was not able to create back then because of how limited I was. Context, this was my third video that I've uploaded on this channel. It's, it's privated now because of how cringy it is. Actually, all my videos are pretty cringy. But, but, okay, look, I have been trying so hard to have my twin in the same frame as me using iMovie. With Final Cut Pro, I can do that easily now. So, who are you trying to impress? <gasps> it's oh. Okay, so real talk, this is gonna be a little bit passion passion fruit this is such a crazy concept to think about i have an idea in my head that only only i can see it because it's in my head and then i use all of these tools such as a camera or an editing program in order to create this visual representation of this idea that came from my head in order for all of you to see it <laughs> that's just so crazy to think about because it was in your head now it's now in front of my eyes and it's exactly what I've been visualizing. And the fact that it's there and people are watching it and people are liking it, people are saying how relatable it is. And that's exactly the reason why I'm so excited to finally using Final Cut Pro. I've been writing ideas upon ideas upon goals upon goals and I've just never had the appropriate tools to create these ideas. And now I finally have this added tool where I can create it in a way that I've been visualizing it in my mind. And holy crap, dude, I am so excited to share that with you guys. I'm so excited to share my weird ass ideas with all of you guys. <laughs> And I hope you guys are too, because it's gonna be litty lit. So yeah, that's a little bit of my passion talk, you know. I heard you have to be a little crazy in order to be passionate about something, so 
there's that. I hope you guys like that. Uh, sharing this story was a bit personal for me and it's like a glimpse into my life, basically. By the way, there was something that I said or wrote down in my previous video. <laughs> Looks like I'm not gonna be on a strict schedule anymore. And I'm sorry that I said that. I'm sorry that I let you guys down. I need to pass my boards exam. So a lot of studying is coming my way. Ugh. What I suggest, instead of waiting every Monday for a video, go onto my homepage of my YouTube channel and click that notification bell. Trust, I won't quit. I mean, you guys just saw me talk so passionately about creating videos and YouTube and editing. Why would I quit on you guys? Aww. Anyways, uh, thank you for sticking around, my OG 103 subscribers. A Welcome new subscribers. Welcome new viewers. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Spoiler.